It was a dream and I think that as a team, the directors and all the managers, the chairs from the different departments, everybody believed in that dream. I thought they saw it as building the future. And I think that they realized that education is something that you have to invest in. We have a state-of-the-art uh, learning facility for, for our students. We've created spaces for formal and informal learning. I think we've set a bar there in terms of our uh, responsibility, in, in terms of uh, continuing in the direction of setting a sustainable course in environmental ethic. How will you do a space which has natural light everywhere that will make people to be more uh, lively and to be more healthy by, uh, by uh, the way you, you create the space and you propose a certain way of circulating into the building? Uh, this one is clearly 2012 and creates a very strong discussion with those other buildings, but a positive one which is proposing a reading of, of the future more than something that is anchored in the past. It's not an institution which has plateaued in any way over the years. It's continued to progress in a really interesting way. And the nature of the building, what's going to happen in that building, and the, I think the audacity of the new building speaks volumes to the culture of the college and the vision of its future. set foot on that campus, it's a pleasure to be there, let's face it. And I would say for students, for anybody, in fact, it's not just a pleasure, it's a privilege to be able to go on a campus like that or live and work on a campus like that. We can see the warmth in the new building, places to study, places to work together. I am personally proud of the contributions that CJAC has made because it has uh, not only helped the science students and the technology students, but it's also made the school in general a, a better place for learning because first of all, it's, it's not as crowded. It's a lot, but we were really overpopulated there for a bit. So now we have the proper resources that the school needs in order to accommodate all the students. It's in a very developmental mode more so than I've ever witnessed in terms of new programs. I mean, we have two new programs which were based on the, the building, the biopharmaceutical and the pre-hospital. The students are going to be spending two or three years of their life studying here, are going to come away with a great experience, a great memory, something that will stay with them all their lives. They'll learn a lesson in terms of what it takes to build a green building and, and that a green building is actually a lot more pleasant place to work and study in than any other kind of building. Because this is my way of integrating nature is by offering nature from inside but also reflecting nature. So uh, uh, the, the building integrates itself very naturally without much effort. Very fast we discovered that beautiful ginkgo tree which is there since a long time. And it represents something so symbolically in terms of the link with, between architecture and science, so important that we wanted to keep it. And by having the ginkgo in the middle of that system, it, it says everything. It becomes a symbol and a totem. Science and technology are at the foundation of our civilization. And I think that this building, for what it is, also sets an example for the future. I think this is the way all buildings should be built, and hopefully this building will set that example. <laughs>